How to write. Step one, open a Word document. Step two, sit with the document open for 10 minutes. Step three, fall asleep. And step four, somehow wake up with the Word document filled with a story you don't remember writing. My sister really asked me how many monsters I've had in the last seven days, and I said six. Well, off to the shop to buy a seventh. Oh, they meant drinks. I thought actual monsters. Shout out to water for keeping my throat sufficiently lubricated for optimal yodeling techniques. <clears throat> yeah. I had a dream last night that I worked at McDonald's and I was behind the counter when this guy dressed in a tuxedo, you know, with the white dicky and tie, was snapping his fingers for a server. I went over and asked to see our darkest red. I knew he was talking about wine, so I said, Sir, this is a McDonald's. The darkest one we have here is ketchup. And he had me pour him a glass of ketchup, and he drank it while looking me directly in the eye. Four guys my dad thinks are distinct people, but are actually all Brian David Gilbert. One, the lead singer of the All Together. Two, the boy who made the Mario movies. Three, the brain behind the awesome popcorn recipe I use. And four, the creator of the croon. I'm told that many Germans are stockpiling cheese and sausages in anticipation of a COVID lockdown. Planning, in other words, for a worst case scenario. <laughs> I scrolled past, and I scrolled back up. Then I rolled my eyes, and then reblogged. My favorite part of Beyond Light so far is the post-campaign quest where Elsie keeps revealing her traumatic past while the solar system's deadliest six-year-old stands there in complete silence. Free therapy. man -eel. Milan. Malin. Omni. Imnal. Almi and Yamnu. The fuck, stop it, brain. I might poke you. Keep an eye out because now I most certainly will poke you. Is selling pickles in movie theaters really just a Texas thing? Like, I can't imagine going to a movie and not getting a pickle. Like, what? The fuck is going on in Texas? Okay, y'all about to hear my favorite Thomas Jefferson story. Americans used to think tomatoes were poisonous, but Tommy J, as a cultured world traveler and former ambassador to France, knew better. So one day, at a dinner party, he just whipped out a tomato and straight up ate it like an apple. And everyone was like, Thomas, no! And we're all convinced he was going to die. He didn't die, obviously, and probably just sat there with a smug-ass grin as all of his guests ran frantically about to fetch a doctor to save him from the dreaded tomato. Interesting fact about me is I have great memory, but I also have shit memory. What this means, in practice, I can recite any number of Simpson scenes verbatim, but I can't remember what I did last week. Yeah. One can't decide whether to join the Bard's Guild or the Thieves' Guild. One will have to weigh the pros and cons. You ever just hand things to your pet to sniff so they feel included? Yes, I do! Remember when Katara wanted to blow up a factory for environmental justice and Aang just tagged along because he thought it would be fun to be an eco-terrorist? Sure do. Yep. Good times. You know what? I might fuck around and drink the daily recommended amount of water. Oh god, I have to pee. You know what, actually? Fuck you! Uncobble your stone. Dude. Dude. Not cool, dude! What the fu-